Yeah, thank you. So this is Nigeria, and um, Africa is our continent. And uh, in Nigeria, before the amal amalgamation in 1914, the country is being grouped into three major places. We have the northern part, the western part, and the eastern part. So this is the rivers that uh, divide the country into three major parts, although now they are being separated more. But why I'm saying this, I'm trying to give you the idea of how the country looks like, so that when I'm talking much about it, you know which region I'm um, not specific about. Nigeria has over 200 and something, over uh, 250 uh, ethnic groups in the Delta region, and it's the largest, uh, the highest or uh, largest population country in, uh, in Africa. And um, I am from this side, and this is my state besides me. But I was born and brought up here besides me in this area. So this area, these are the houses. Um, in Nigeria, we have three major tribes. We have the Igbos, which is my tribe. We have the Yorubas, which is this tribe. And we have the Aosas, which are the larger part of the uh, area. So, and um, I'm specifically going to talk about this tribe. Because of time, I wish to discuss about these two tribes, which I'm well known about, where I came from and where I was born and brought up. But because of time, I'll Focus more on this, and uh, if time permits, I might extend a little bit to my tribe. So, um, the Yorubas, we learned that um, the world was created by Olud Maru, which is the supreme being, and uh, who sent on Mila and other Orisha. Orisha means gods to create it. And in the beginning, the earth was covered with water and all other divinities, including Shongo, or Batala, Ogun, and uh, Omeda, and many more, were sent to make the earth. Like, in this point, I would like, as I'm explaining this, try to, like, within your mind, think about the best to best in the Islam gospel and um, some uh, differences that are there. So, here we also see that, um, the same Elod Mari, he instructed them to go to the earth with different missions. Mission and uh, the mission are uh, as follows, but down I will get out there. So now Elod Mari, let me give you who Elod Mari is. Like this is the Elod Mari himself, and uh, he is a um, great sky father responsible for the creation of the world. Or the Yoga Supreme Being uh, is the creator of heaven and earth, time and day and night. He is the creator that has existed since the beginning of time itself. He is an impartial God who controls the destinies of mankind in his palm. It is widely accepted that the people which are, which are the smaller gods are the ones that punish mankind when natural laws are broken. He is a uh, one who judges man in his innermost feelings, which is his iwapele. Iwapele means good character, that's what, and his personalities. Elijah Mary is the supreme regent in the kingdom of the heavens and earth, and thus he is as well the judge of the Orisha himself, which means he also judges the smaller gods. And, um, the major difference between Orisha and Lejumari is that Lejumari is the supreme being, natural force, elemental principle, and therefore represents the pure abstract concept of human nature and human qualities. Now, I'm trying to explain to you the names because you're going to watch a short clip, um, something like an interview. So, when you, you are hearing these things, you should have an idea of what um, the person is going to talk about. So this is, now the Supreme Being is a uh, little Maru. Now these are other smaller um, deities or gods. One of them, there are many more, but one of them is Obatala. Obatala is, uh, is known as one of the king uh, and um, 
It's usually in white room. Oh, sorry, the video, the picture is not that clear. But this is just how the structure looks like. It's always on white clothing. And um, it's like the one being assigned by the lead married to create, like being the major, his major responsibility is to create mankind. Yeah. So, and um, he has also been a king because he also lived as mortal in the mortality. And uh, he also, he believed, according to Yoga cosmology, to be the sky father and the creator of human bodies. Like, he is the one that, like, mode human, according to the Yoga uh, belief, and which are brought to life by the smooth brick of Rujumari, which is the supreme being. So the supreme being was the one, after he moved the body, the supreme being now brought her into um, the mortal body. So Abhatala is kindly father of all the Orishas and all humanity. So which means it's like, after Rujumari is also um, very much important to the gods. And he's also the owner of all heads and minds. He is manifest, he manifests in white, like he's been known as white god of creativity and justice. And he's been honored and uh, like now in this place, Obatala is honored with brilliant white clothes, white lace, white bread and calories. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen calories before. Yeah, like he's, I don't know how to have seen it before. It's like, that is uh, what they use for, um, a legal tender in the Asian days, like it's white and it's also something like it. I don't know, it's a plant, I don't know how they get it, but they find it out. So that's what they use as an estate to buy something. So it's usually white and um, white flower, silver pine, and silver girl. So that is what they like, those his followers, that's how they dress and they have those calories around them. And um, that signifies that he is for them. So. And is he being honored with white hands, nails, white melon, soup, pounded yam, and other white foods such as echo. Echo is like, uh, how do I explain it? It's made of um, maize. Um, they will like do it, they get fermented, they will grind it, they extract the starch, then prepare it and uh, make it cool. It's so delicious. And <laughs> so, and, um, and that's how I think. So this when when we talk about rituals, like when we are studying about um, and I, uh, native religion, we learned about uh, rituals. So Yoruba tried to do a lot of rituals too. So when they are honoring him, when they are performing rituals for him, these are what they basically use for the rituals. So and um, his priests and priestesses wear white clothing. So that is one of the uh, attributes. So also we have Onomila that we like we're a little bit faster because of time. So Onomila is also one of the god. Uh Onomila is god of wisdom, knowledge, and divination. And uh, he is praised named Idakeji Lady Mari. Idakeji is like second in command to Lady Mari. So uh because of uh, how he has been uh it was part of the gods that uh, created the universe and uh, his effort was well respected and they also respect him so much and uh, on Mila is by far the grand deity at the school we read the new time prophecy to the world so when uh, the gods need something to be revealed to them they go to the uh, on Mila so that they will expand their wisdom Knowledge and explain what their future is like to see as foresee the future. Then we also have Odubua. Odubua was not all, it was not only the first ruler of a unified Ife. Um, well, in as we go quickly, what, what Ife means, Ife, like historically, let me just give a preview because of our time. Uh, in general, when they were created, they believed. The Yoga believed that uh, when the earth was about to be created, the earth was full of water, and uh, a little married thought that, okay, who are going to go? This are going to send 
to come and check. And when they came, they saw that everywhere was full of water, and they were like, they need 200 chains. They need um, a hen or a chicken. Let me use the word chicken uh, or hen. Let me say hen beside me. And um, they also needed a bag or a sack of sand and uh, a chameleon. Now, when they came, they saw that there is water. They pour the sand, the sack of sand, and they threw the hen. So the hen scattered the sand around, and um, after that was done, they now sent the chameleon to check if the land is solidified for existence. And when the chameleon was able to confirm that they are solid enough, they all came down. That is that belief. <laughs> so and uh, from there, they now started. Yeah, location and other stuff like that. So um, along those are how they started and generation begin to come and other stuff. So because of time, let me see if I can. I'm looking at the time of everything. Yeah, let's, so wonderful. yeah. So uh, let's quickly. I'm just giving you a preview of how it is. So let's quickly watch a video. Oh, sorry, I already had it here. Um, So let's watch this video. So I'm giving you a context of what you will be calling those names of the deities or gods, and it will be given an expansion. And um, as we watch, let's just um, try to understand what though according to the oh, sorry, is English is a pure Yoruba English. So you have to like put that here very well <laughs> to pick up some of this English. There are some that you do not like utterly understand. So the world created by Urukuma and Urukuma is the one that sends Kenesi only life and all other Orisha who found the heart in the beginning. It is believed that uh, there is the water all over the world, no space. When the heart is to be formed, not my saints or to do it, the progenitor of Yoruba and all other divinity shall go over Allah and Allah or Mina to go to the world and appoint them with different ministry who was in charge of the technology justice over Allah is an artist of Ulukumari but Allah is the one that moves the hair, all organs of our body. Kulshaoko is the one that established the family. Elegara is law enforcement agent. Orumina is spiritual advisor, is mouthpiece for all these Kulsha. They consult each other in heaven. And it would require them to have to offer a chicken with five fingers, camellium, 200 shen, plenty of shant, a sack. He said 200 chains. The way you pronounce it, shen. So it's chain, like normal chain. That's what he meant there, so don't be confused. The collected. They put everything inside the shack. When it was time for them to ar ar arrive, there, there was no place to land. Water was at everywhere. The shame, 200 shame, they command the shame to stay on the sky. And the descender come down through the shame. Land. The 
through the sand inside the shack to, to the water. And he threw the chicken. It was this chicken that spread the sand all over the world. The first person to touch the, the heart is chameleon. Chameleon, they threw the chameleon. Chameleon was first created to walk, walk on, on the heart. After that, they discovered it became solid. So they are now come down one by one to form the heart. They say, what name can we give to this heart? The place where the land was spread. It's called Ilethil Fest. Ilethil Fest is called Ilethil today. There are some other uh, stories that Yoruba people came from Mecca, from Arab. We do not have that uh, authentic in Eshaifa, in Bodhupa. The story I just told you now came from Bodhupa Manipa. One of the so there is, if you read the book about uh, Yoruba or Africa or the Nigerian Yoruba people, you will learn that some say they come from Sudan, some came from Ah. Uh, but the question I used to ask people: if it is true that Yoruba people come from Mecca or Ara, the language that you black people speaking is not Arab. Where do they get their language from? Where do they get their costume? This type of dress I'm wearing. They never wear this. The beat. The music. And the names. Where do they get them? Is that similar to what they have in, in, in the Arab today? Yeah, I think. Let's stop there. So, this uh, talks about uh, some, it mentions some things about Ifa, which I would like to like uh, try and. Uh, in Yoruba language, I would like telling a friend, there yeah, are some words you use, the same uh, spelling, but the pronunciation <laughs> are really different. Right? So uh, you mentioned something about Ilatin Fed, which is let me quickly go back to the map. So can let me show you where it is located. Ife is around this location in Oshun State. And that's where they believe that uh, that was the first place where the Canadian dropped. And uh, it is from there, maybe this is the war handbook of uh, the chicken that spread the sound. So they are having a lot of land all around the world. So, but well, the point is, if he let him fail, just as he said, is the translation means the land that expands. And um, the expansion of the land, that is the starting point where they landed before uh, others came in. So, and um, with that, they believe that uh, the, the, the way was able to get that is through Odufa, and which is a way by which uh, they consult the gods and they give them the right, like what that have happened in the past, like a seer, in the past, the present, and the future. So, they were able to get their, they believe that their um, historical background came from that. And oh, the fact is like something like this. This is like a consultation tray that they have. So when you go for consultation, they have these are the calories I was talking about. Sorry, this is how the calories looks like. So uh, they use either this method or this method or sometimes both. So here you put the calories. I don't know how they do it, but they have way they do it where. Uh, they use the calories, and some you have a tray not having like these seedlings in, but to be like a powder where the uh, the diviner 
when you, you consult and you put some like mathematical figures with his fingers on that on that tree and tell you what you came for and possible solution to that. So that has been the way they have been uh, dealing with their uh, religion. Yeah. So then the main person was uh, Shongo. Shongo is a god of thunder and lightning. He was the third king of Old Oyo. That is from where I was born and brought up. Yeah. So he is also one of the greatest warriors in mythologies. This is how he looks like. And uh, he is being worshipped in the fifth day of the week. And uh, there is a special uh, beat and, and dance, we call it Bata. It's because of time, I would have like, tried to show this really, really fun to see them dance with beating the drums. Uh, in, um, how do they call it? Uh, drum. Talking drum, yeah. Talking drum, and uh, you see them dancing. And it's really, really nice. And, uh, and that is more being performed in the festival. And I'm uh, privileged to have watched it, but it's scary. And uh, one of the attributes about him is if he's angry, he's always with an axe. And when he's angry, he brings out um, fire from his mouth. So, which means it's also dangerous. Sure. And um, yeah, compared to what we've studied so far, we see that he has a resemblance with God and uh, So, we see that that is all about him. And uh, uh, that is for Shongo. Then for Ogun, Ogun is a god of iron and war, and um, he's also a great hunter warrior. He is the son of Odudua, and he is usually worshipped by warriors, hunters, blacksmiths, technologists, drivers who believe in old gods. Yeah, there are some that believe in old gods. So, you know, Kai is made of iron. So, they believe uh, if they should follow him, he will be able to save them from uh, crashes and other stuff like that. So, and um, the symbol and letter, dog and pom pom. So, it's festival. When they are they are celebrating this festival, they kill dog, and uh, that is uh, one of the things because it's also a great hunter. So hunters they move around with dogs to help them get uh, uh, animals they need. So this is how it looks like, and uh, this is like a shrine. It's made of different metals. So in that metals, they pour uh, basically they pour palm oil. I, it's not here, but for those that have the privilege of come to Africa, especially the western part, they now go for palm oil from a palm fruit. And uh, so the oil, they pour it on you as part of it to appraise it. So that is how For example, they kill dog, they slaughter the dog. Like, you know, like Americans. So <laughs> they slaughter it, they pour it, and uh, they eat it. Yeah, so um, I think those are, then some other gods, we have um, Aramion, the uh, son of Ogun, another warrior, god of fertility, the creator of dry land and the shape of infants before their birth. Like the did not mention many of these. Olo Ogun is god of ocean, and ocean in Yoruba means Ogun. So Olo Ogun is like the owner or the god of uh, uh, ocean, then father of Aji, Aji means world. Like, if you need God to go to the Aji and they like consult and they be, you might be lucky. So, we have uh, Olosha, then uh, is the goddess of the lagoon. Then we have uh, Oni, Oni Dei, the owner of the soil, the goddess of the soil, and uh, the earth soil. Then Oko, the goddess of uh, the god of the field, farm, and agriculture. We mentioned it. Then Oya, the goddess of winds, and the river Niger, one of Shongo's wife, like the one that I said, the winds, the winds are fire, and it's angry. Then uh, Omugan, the god of hair, the son of Agaji, Agaju, the son of uh, god of wilderness, Yemoja, the goddess of the river, 
but and um, what uh, what we call Mazin Mami, they they call it Yemoja, and uh, one is in that Ipe because they have the river the Ipe uh, ocean, and um, we have many people around the world that come to see the place as often as possible and seek consultation from the gods. And we have uh, Obaluayi, the god of healing that cures smallpox disease and death, and the god cures and punishes, and he punishes people of their transgression, that is why it's not that case. So it's like in two ways, he can heal you, and if you transgress, he can punish you. So, um, because of time, those are the basic things about, um, uh, about the yogas. So, and um, you also have masquerade. Let me see if I can quickly show you masquerade before I leave. Uh, okay, let me do this. Okay, this is uh, the consultation. Let me do a short video clip about this, how they do their Iba. It's a concern for most people to talk to me. So that's the language you That's your language. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my Really real, and wow. uh, uh, then this is their masquerade when they are having festival. They have different masquerade, but I just like pick one or two, and let's see how their masquerade looks like. It's somewhat scary, but it's entertaining if they are around. <laughs> so these are coming drums meeting behind. <laughs> So their masquerade is called Egubu. Egubu. That is the name of their masquerade. That is how they call masquerade in the Baraboo. So the boat uh, wheel, where sometimes they can whip each other and also whip people that are watching. So it's entertaining as you watch and run so that you know <laughs> so it's so interesting when that is done so uh, yeah so that is the talking drum you see so they beat it and like dance and so these are basic things about uh, the yoga uh, tradition and uh, I wish I had more time to talk about the Igbos, our students are so nice, that's where I came from. And uh, but I think this is okay. So I don't think there's any um, questions or about the Uba tribe. What's with Oberon Abraham?